principle of vernier calipers in order to know the principle of vernier calipers let us consider a scale look here this is the scale it is graduated like this 0 cm 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm so on this scale can be used to measure length of an object consider an object look here its length is more than 2 cm but less than 3 cm according to this scale length of this one is 2 cm this extra length cannot be measured using this scale because 1 cm between 2 and 3 is not further divided using this scale we can measure 1 cm but uh, we cannot measure the length less than 1 cm means the minimum length that can be measured using this scale is 1 cm this is known as least count least count of this scale is 1 cm in order to measure length of this object this 1 cm has to be further divided it is like this look here as this 1 cm is divided into 10 parts 1 divided by 10 is 0.1 so this is 0.1 cm 0.2 cm like this this is 0.7 cm this is 0.8 cm so length of this one is 0.7 cm here also we cannot measure this extra length using this scale we can measure 2.2 cm 0.1 cm but uh, we cannot measure length of an object less than 0.1 cm 0.1 cm is also known as 1 mm so the minimum length that can be measured by using this scale is 0.1 cm or 1 mm therefore least count of this one is 0.1 cm or 1 mm now let us uh, divide this 1 mm into 10 divisions each division is 0.1 mm 0.2 mm like this now in order to understand the principle of vernier calipers let us consider another scale look here this is the another scale look here this is the, it has 10 divisions compress this scale so that uh, length of this scale or 0.9 cm is divided into 10 equal parts like this so here this scale is called main scale and this is called vernier scale this scale or this technique was invented in 1631 by a french mathematician pierre vernier therefore this scale is named after this mathematician vernier and now let us observe this vernier scale look here zero on the main scale is coinciding with zero on the vernier scale and no other division is in coincidence with uh, any line on the main scale look here this one is not uh, in line this one is not in line like this no other line no other division is coinciding now let us move the scale to 0.1 millimeter it is like this so now what has happened this uh, first division is coinciding with one of the divisions on the main scale and next let us move this one to 0.2 look here the second one is in coincidence no other is coinciding and now let us move it to 0.3 millimeter look here third one is coinciding no other division is coinciding and like this for uh, 0.4 displacement it is uh, look here fourth one is in coinciding like this 0.5 it is fifth one is coinciding from this we can understand that the displacement or movement of this scale through this distance can be understood by knowing this coincidence coincidence if uh, fifth one is coinciding with any one of the divisions on the main scale then we can understand the scale is moved through a distance of 0.5 millimeter that is five uh, times the least count and if uh, this is moved to 0.6 look here sixth one is coinciding here we have moved this distance this length is 0.6 millimeter 
so like this let us move it so this is point 8 0.9 and now it is 10th one 10th one means this is 1 centimeter sorry 1 millimeter or 0.1 centimeter so this is the principle of vernier calipers now let us define least count of this uh, system so coincide this uh, 0 on the main and 0 on the vernier so take the length of one division on main scale that is now it is moved through 0.1 millimeter so one is coinciding like this so 0.1 millimeter is the least count so magnitude of 1 msd main scale division to keep the main scale one main scale division is this much and minus magnitude of the one vernier scale division magnitude of one vernier scale division look here this is the magnitude of one vernier scale division this minus this that is nothing but this point 0.1 this point 0.1 millimeter is nothing but least count so this is the least count so least count is equal to magnitude of one main scale division minus magnitude of one vernier scale division least count can also be calculated by using the formula least count is equal to value of 1 msd main scale division divided by number of divisions on vernier scale we know value of 1 msd look here this is the 1 msd that is 1 millimeter number of divisions on vernier scale is 10 so this is equal to 1 msd that is uh, 0.1 centimeter or 1 millimeter divided by number of divisions 10 so this is equal to 0 0.01 centimeter or it is 0 0.1 millimeter so this is how we can calculate least count of this uh, arrangement that is arrangement of two scales main scale and vernier scale now let us use this principle in vernier calipers or slide calipers